Number 23. When elemental iron corrodes, it combines with oxygen in the air to ultimately form red brown iron 3 oxide called rust. A. If a shiny iron nail with an initial mass of 23.2 grams is weighed after being coated in a layer of rust, would you expect the mass to have increased, decreased, or remain the same? So first let's answer A, and then I will go on to B. So here, we have a shiny iron nail. Wow, this drawing is so great. (laughs) Um, So this is my iron nail. And it says that it had an initial, initial means at the beginning. So it had an initial mass of 23.2 grams. Now they're telling you that when elemental iron corrodes, it combines with oxygen. Now oxygen, just know that oxygen is always going to be O2. It's a molecule. So this iron nail plus oxygen, I'm just going to put O2 here, will form, that means it will produce iron 3 oxide. So I'm going to put over here iron 3 oxide. I'm just going to write the compound here. You don't need to know how to make these compounds just yet. It is only chapter 1, but just know that iron 3 oxide is Fe 2O3. And an iron nail, when they say elemental iron, that just means that it's just the element. So this would just be Fe. So Fe plus O2 would give us that rusty nail. So here's my nail again. But now it's even more caked on. It's rusted. So here's my rust that's covering it because it reacted with the iron. So this is all rusty. Yuck. Now they're saying if this was a initial mass, 23.2 grams, once it got coated in the layer of rust, would the mass increase, decrease, or remain the same? Now this goes to the law of conservation of matter or mass. It's a law, so it's pretty important. The law of conservation of matter says that whatever you initially started with, if I broke this reaction up, whatever you initially started with, which is called the reactants or your starting material, has to be equal to the ending material, which is called the products. So because of this law of conservation of matter, that means that all of the mass on the reactants, and I will label that just as R, will equal the mass on the product side. And this is total mass. So the total mass combined on the reactant side has to equal the total mass found on the product side. So here, if I have 23.2 grams of the iron nail plus... Oxygen, don't you think that oxygen would have some mass to it? Of course, right? Anything that is an atom or a molecule or an element, a compound, etc., it will all have mass. So this definitely has a mass. So the combination of these two things, 23.2 grams plus O2, has to equal the mass on this side. So this total number on the reactant side has to equal the total number in grams on the product side. So do you think that when it becomes rusty, that the mass would have increased, decreased, or remained the same? It would increase because this rusty material was the iron nail plus the oxygen that it reacted with. And since the oxygen has added mass, it would be 23.2 grams plus this additional mass, which we don't know. All question A asked for was it was it going to increase, decrease, or remain the same? But we know that it's going to increase. That's our final answer for A.
because of the law of conservation of matter. Now, B, it says, if the mass of the iron nail increases to 24.1 grams, what mass of oxygen combined with the iron? So now we got to find out what the mass of the oxygen was when it combined with the iron. So let's put it this way. I'm going to list it over here. I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to say, uh, oh gosh, Christina. Okay, so I'm going to say iron nail plus oxygen has to equal, because remember the two sides in, because of the law of conservation of matter, they have to equal each other. It's going to equal the rusty nail. So they told us before that the, the iron nail was 23.2 grams, and now they're telling us that it increased to 24.1 grams. So we just got to figure out how much is here. So you could do like a simple equation, right? We don't know what this is, so this would be labeled as X. So over here, I'm going to say 23.2 plus X would equal 24.1. And then you just subtract the 2 to find out what x is. Minus 23.2, minus 23.2. I'm going to put x over here on this side. x equals whatever this is, right? 24.1 minus 23.2. That is 0 0.9. And the units have to match since this is in grams. And this one was in grams. So the oxygen mass has to be in grams as well. So that was the mass of the oxygen. So the first part, the answer was the mass would increase because the products and the reactants have to equal each other. And the second part was you just had to do the actual math. So it was 0.9 grams of O2. I hope this made sense. If it did, please give us a like and a thumbs up or, you know, subscribe. It would really help us. Um, I'll see you all in the next lesson. Have an awesome day, guys. See you later.